hello friend in this video presentation I am going to show you the implementation of Internet of Things that is IOT on the right hand side you can see the Raspbian OS that is been installed right inside the Raspberry Pi here you can see that I have got a relay module and uh, this relay is a 5 volt relay which is connected with this braid board and the relay is also connecting the AC uh, an AC connection of a bulb I have connected that and what I want to achieve is I have created a Django application and uh, here is my application that I have created in Django which I would like to run and eventually that will be executing our web application and through the web application I want to control this bulb okay let's see here is my Django application which is right now currently uh, is been I'm going to execute this particular project so let me get to the environment of Python here is my command prompt of Raspberry Pi and I have already connected to the uh, Python environment and let me run the project by writing Python manage.py run server I hit the enter and this will start the uh, server as you can see there was initial spark as the server started okay so everything is all set to fire and here is the IP address so with the help of a website with the help of internet I am really going to control this bulb so let me switch on the chromium web browser that comes by default with the Raspbian OS so here is the chromium browser getting on and yes now I will type localhost and the port number is 8000 that's the port number right I hit the enter and that will open the default page which I have created and I have given a caption like <laughs> welcome to IOT here is my hamburger icon let me click this and that will take me to another app okay here is my app let me expand it as you can see the app name is over here so if I go to my VS code let me show you even so this is my uh, app urls.py and over here I have got my project urls.py as well so let me open my project urls.py here is my project urls.py so in the project urls.py if I go for the route light that will open my app and that what you are seeing right over here so I am connected right now to my app and here is a button it says that uh, if you press the button the light will be on is it so I really don't know and over here the message is LED is off well the bulb is off right now isn't it so let me go and click this button and let's see what happens I'm super excited and as I do that oh my god the bulb is actually on and you can see over here the LED is also glowing if you notice over here the LED is actually glowing see the LED is on over here so the bulb is the bulb is on that's the reason the relay module LED is on this relay can operate with five devices it has got four channel over here through which four devices I can operate and if you see over here my toggle button has also got changed the caption is now changed that my switches LED is actually on the bulb is actually on and uh, over here it says that if I click this button what will happen let's go and do that as I do that my bulb switches off what do you think are you excited let's try one more time as I click the button once again the light goes on and you can see it's pretty on the you are controlling a device which has been regulated by AC okay alternative current and your relay is working on DC so your DC has been controlling the AC and that is how the uh, Python along with the Django web application you are controlling it and this can be done from any part of the globe if you have a web application and if you know the mini the configuration of IOT and the basic setup of IOT then you can easily connect any kind of electronic device with that of the Django application and not only that uh, we have also seen many uh, mobile based application that can even control an IOT application so in this video I try to show you that 
how can you work on a web based application where you have got a server side and that server side language is controlling an electric gadget isn't it that really cool and uh, finally what i will be saying is that if you notice over here a tiny dht module is also over here which is basically meant for humidity and temperature okay so it would be like i can even regulate what is the room temperature of mine and that what i can store in the database and if the temperature goes to certain threshold i can switch on some application something like that also can be done and this whole thing is been automated and this is all possible because of my raspberry pi so if raspberry pi is there you can really work on it with the basic knowledge of django you can come up with this kind of server side application okay so that's all from this video presentation thank you very much